As someone who used to work in the construction trade, days like today are my favorite kind of days. I'm 95% sure I have all the materials that I need. I know exactly what I'm doing today. It's not too complicated or difficult. To me, these are the really efficient and enjoyable days uh, when you're doing construction, just because everything tends to go uh, very smoothly. So before I get started cutting the insulation, I still have uh, four bolts to install on that side of the trailer and I'm gonna do that and then I will insulate. Alright, so I got all that sheathing moved over so I could access the rigid foam insulation here. So I have two different types. So I have this three-quarter inch uh, rigid foam insulation that I'm sitting on and then I also have this two inch stuff right here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do in each cavity is I'm gonna sandwich the two inch with the three quarter inch. That'll give me three and a half inches of insulation there, which is the exact size of the two by four. So this three quarter inch stuff should not be very difficult to cut. So I can probably just use my knife. Um, if I can't use a knife, I also got a drywall saw. This stuff here, this big two inch stuff, I'm going to use the skill saw. So I can just set it up drop a chalk line down and just cut across and it should be good. Rigid foam insulation acts as a vapor barrier as well as spray foam. Uh, so when I'm cutting these pieces, there's gonna be some, uh, there's probably gonna be some gaps and cracks that are gonna end up um, between, the, between the joists and the actual insulation. So what I'm gonna use is a, a gap filler here to create like a really, really tight fit uh, for the insulation. That's really important because this insulation is gonna also act as a vapor barrier. So for example, if I was putting like regular like uh, bat insulation or rock salt insulation in the cavity there, then I'd probably have to lay down some poly on top of it, create a vapor barrier. So, so the importance of the vapor barrier is uh, important to reduce or eliminate the amount of condensation that exists between a place that is cooler and a place that is warmer. I don't wanna go into too many of the details of like vapor barriers and stuff, but on the inside of the house, we're gonna use spray foam. So that'll give me a really consistent vapor barrier uh, through the walls, through the roof. And also since we're using the rigid insulation of the floor, that'll give us a great vapor, ba vapor barrier as well. So what's really nice with this framing here is that from end to end within the cavity, it's, uh, it's about seven foot 11 and these sheets are eight feet long. So I can literally just cut strips along the long end of it and just pretty well just drop it into place. So, so hopefully this will go by nice and smooth. I'm gonna do a few of the, uh, of the sections of insulation first, then I'll show you how I'm doing it. All right, so I've got three of the pieces done. What I'm doing is I'm measuring each cavity uh, just to get a very accurate measurement. And I'm just measuring in uh, whatever that distance is. So this one's about uh, 14 and 5 eighths. So I'm gonna measure in 14 and 5 eighths, put a mark at each end, then snap a chalk line, and then just use my blade uh, just to cut down that line. And it's been, uh, it's been working good so far. So what I'm doing is I'm flipping it back over and then just running my knife along the cut here. Then I just gotta cut off the extra on the end here. So I've got a really nice tight fit there and let's repeat this many, many more times.
So I've got all that three quarter inch in, and then I've started on the two inch uh, foam insulation here. The two inch is actually nicer to work with. I can get a straighter cut because I'm using the skill saw. It's just like way nicer to work with. All right, I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'll show you how I'm doing the two inch right after that. So with this two inch insulation, it's essentially the same process as the three quarter. I measure the cavity, I'll make those marks, and then I'll uh, snap a chalk line. So the bricks help hold the insulation down from flipping over. Then I just need to chop off just a little bit on the end here. All right, so I've got all that two inch insulation cut and installed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go around with the gap filler and just fill in any big uh, gaps in the two inch pieces there. When the gap filler dries, I'll cut it so that um, I can put the three quarter inch on top. So I'm not gonna use the gap filler in all of them. Uh, just in a few where there's like a gap that's maybe like, that's maybe about a quarter inch or so. All right, so I've got a lot of this uh, gap filler in. I didn't want to put the remaining three-quarter insulation in, but I think I'm just going to uh, let this cure overnight. And then actually tomorrow, I'm going to take tomorrow off of construction. So I'm allowing myself two days off construction, so I'll work five and take two off. And then when I come back, I'll finish off that insulation and then start on the subfloor. Probably just about 2.30 right now, so I'm just going to call it a day and start cleaning up. Everything's all nicely cleaned up. I've even moved all the plywood over there so I have all this area uh, to work in uh, when I start building the walls. And that just a bit finishes it for the work day. So I'm gonna go home and uh, see what Hannah is getting up to. This thing looks like there's like a cock going in your mouth at the right angle. So now I look like I have a cock in my mouth. No, 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 it's over here. What did Hannah get up to today? I went up mile 11. She went up to mile four. I only have 21 more miles to go. <laughs> and I went to the Goodwill and got rid of our old pans. Nice. I cooked some corn chowder. And it's delicious. The best corn chowder ever. Definitely a, a good step up from the red lentil chili. The red lentil chili is great. But this corn chowder is off the hook. Just the corn chowder from the book, but I put red lentils and red curry paste in it. Yeah. I don't know, did we use coconut milk in the one in the book? Yeah. Okay, good. I think I'm just tired from going with the mountain. Yeah, it's exhausting. It is tiring for sure, especially in the heat. Like I said earlier, taking a break tomorrow. We film this like every day, but Derek just cuts it out. So you guys never get to see me. So tell they'll them, see like, it. They'll see it on yesterday. Stop cutting out Hannah. <laughs> Sometimes the videos are just running too long. All right, we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's vlog. Talk to you soon. Peace. I'm